I did a webinar today that you should look at if you want to be a member of the Corporate Citizen Playbook Experience. We're getting ready to do a lot more stuff and the price of the Corporate Playbook Experience is going to go up July 1st. So you want to go check that webinar out and you want to go ahead and get yourself in the Corporate citizen playbook where we're going to teach you how to do anything and not this week but next week we're going to do our first corporate sprint which is going to be comprised of us setting up your holding company operating company getting your EIN and banking so let's go ahead you don't want to miss that because what I'm going to do starting next Sunday is be live and I'll be live during the week to answer your questions about setting up your holding company structure and the things that you need to do. All right, so let's get into this video. You know, I see a lot of stuff that's very interesting on the internet. I'll see a lot of people talk about helping out the less fortunate, um, being almost as if we were a socialist nation. The United States of America is an expensive place to live if you want to live well. Housing is expensive, schools expensive, healthcare is expensive, and if you want to have the finer things in the United States of America, you have to understand where you're living. I'll give you an example. Do you know that the average person who goes to Congress goes to Congress as a normal American? But if they manage to stay 10, 15, 20 years, they become millionaires. I want you to think about that. What does the people in Congress do? They make our laws. They're in touch with the finer inner workings of the United States of America. And because they're in that position, they begin to understand their behavior in the corporation of America. The United States of America is a corporation. And I see many people who are failing act as if this is a um, charity event, acting as if we're a socialist nation. The United States of America is a capitalistic organization. It's a capitalistic organism. And if you are here in the United States of America and you're not behaving like a capitalist, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna have issues. You're gonna be just struggling along in this country because one of the things that happens is once you understand, number one, where we're living, there was this movie, I forget the characters and I forget the name, but there was a, a guy who wanted to do some work around this church. And he was talking to, he's like, there was a bunch of gangs and stuff. And he's like, we want the gangs to kind of come down. And one of the guys said, you can't talk to them that way. You got to talk to them this way. And they started to talk to the gang members in a language that they understood, and they were able to get the free access to do what they needed to do because there was an understanding of operating in your economic environment. And I, I see a lot of people here who do not understand that this is the United States Corporation of America. The United States of America is a corporation. Each state is a corporation but I see more and more people acting as if this is a charitable, socialistic ideal or concept. And this is one of the things, like once again, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and say it. And I've already said this before, and I'm gonna say it again, living in the United States of America is an expensive proposition. So you know to live here is expensive. This is right off the rift. Right now, the average household income of $70,000 cannot afford the average price of a house, which is like 430 to 460. 
that should tell you something. That should tell you something, because this is what I see happening. There was this movie, oh man, I don't even remember the name, but it was a science fiction movie where the rich people lived in this satellite in space. It was a circular satellite. And then the poor people lived on planet Earth. And this is kind of what I see happening. The rich, the people who understand where we live, and the benefits, the uh, family members of the people who understand where we live are going to be able to live in that circular satellite of living in the United States of America. Because honestly, the way that I see things going, the majority of America is going to be poor. That's where we're heading. With the rising in housing prices, with the rising of food, the rising of electric bills, the, you know, it's just getting more and more expensive. And what's going to happen is greater America is going to be poor. And when I mean poor, let's, let's, what do I mean when I say poor? They will have cell phones, they will have cars, they will have a place to live. But going back to Flint, Michigan, remember the issue that they had with the water in Flint, Michigan? A whole county of poor people that had unsuitable drinking water. A whole county. Wasn't just one neighborhood, it was a whole county. It was a whole county of Flint, Michigan, right? And that's what we're going. I want you to imagine Flint, Michigan spread out across America. Just spread out, just spread out. You're going to have a bunch of people who are going to be living in impoverished circumstances in these United States of America in the future because there's a fundamental lack of understanding of where you live. Uh, the Credit Plug made a good video talking about paperwork. And this is one of the things that the poor members of America do not understand. Paperwork. You got to have your paperwork together. And if you don't have your paperwork together, if you don't, um, come approach, you know, like I hear so much talk about banks and how banks are trying to make you poor and banks are a bad place to put your money and you should become a self bank or you should go to credit unions. Credit unions can be really good. I have no problem with credit unions, but here's, here's my relationship with my banks. And I have many different banks. I've got one, two, three, one credit union, five. I'm dealing with one credit union and six banks. And I get treated fairly. I get exactly what I want out of these banks, but I don't approach the banks as a regular person. I approach the banks as a corporate citizen. And because I approach the banks as a corporate citizen, I'm able to get credit cards. I'm able to get lines of credit and I'm able to get exactly what I want out of the bank. And this, this is one of the things because it's, it's paperwork. And this is one of the things that I teach you in the corporate citizen playbook is to have your paperwork in order to have yourself set up because once again, and I'm not trying to cast shade upon ordinary regular Americans. I'm just saying, this is where we live. We live in the United States Corporation of America. And if you want to live in the United States Corporation, well, let me go ahead and be clear. If you want to live well in the corporation, you want to eat well, you want to drink well, you want to get the proper medical care inside of the corporation, you must become corporate or be affiliated with someone who is corporate. Because it's not that hard once you understand where you are, what you're doing, what you're building, and how you're situating this stuff. It's not that hard to excel in the corporation once you become 
corporate. But if you continue, because I see people, man, I just want to live my life. I just want to hang out. I just want to get me a nice girl. I just want to chill. I ain't trying to work that hard. Eh. That type of behavior is going to get you cast into the plantation of America. There's the corporation of America and there's the plantation of America. Flint, Michigan was in the plantation of America. And many people will find themselves inside the walls of the plantation. And what is the plantation? Full of trailers, full of low income housing, full of people who are struggling, full of the average American. See, you got a choice. You can live in the corporation of America or you can live in the plantation of America. And the plantation, let me go ahead and just say something. If I, in 2019, when I had my heart attack, if I was living in the plantation, I would be dead. Just go ahead and just say that. I would be dead. And in the plantation, is there medical care? Absolutely, there's medical care. There's doctors. But let me go ahead and explain my situation. Because I was living in Sandy Springs, zip code 30327, because I was literally round the corner from Northside Hospital, St. Joe's, and Scottish Rite, I got the best doctors to work on me. I got the best medical care. I got the best doctors and technicians and stuff. And this is the reason that I'm still alive because I was residing in the corporation of America at a high level. But if I had been in the plantation of America, I would be dead. I would be dead. Uh, my doctor, we, we talked about it years ago, that the heart attack that I had is the one that normally just kills people. But because I was in the plant, the corporate, the high level of corporate America, I had access to the finest medical care in the country. And this is one of the things you want to think about as you go out about living your life. Once again, you could be a regular person, one of those people making $40,000 a year or less. You could be one of those people who are struggling. You could be one of those people who doesn't, because this is the thing that gets me. There are so many people who have no firm understanding of where we're living and what we reside in. There's just no understanding that we're living in the corporation of America. And it's just like, well, you know, I just want something for the average man. And I'm about to say something. The time for the average man in America, and I would say about up to 1980 something, about 1980, that's when you know, we can go from the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, and the average man could matriculate themselves inside of a corporation and do well. An average man could buy a house, an average man could go to school, an average man can work a job, an average man can have a wife and children, and that was the America of yesterday. I would say after 19, 1990, we'll go to 1990, but after 19, especially in 2000, 2010, 2020, we have found ourselves where the average man has been priced out of corporate America. And I don't see this residing. I don't see this going back itself because literally the whole country would have to crash for the whole country to become more affordable. The, the whole country would have to suffer some extreme catalysmic pricing reversals. I mean, this, this nice house that you see that's now $1.5 for you to afford it for three thousand three hundred thousand dollars, this highest, this the, the the other economic devastating collapse 
would have to happen. And I don't see that happening. I see things getting more expensive. I see having children. And that, that's the thing. That's the thing. The people with money have a bunch of kids. You, you, it is nothing to see people with money have three to five children. Because being able to have that many kids, being able to live in a million dollar house, being able to drive luxurious cars, and being able, that's, that's, that's a status symbol move. That's a status symbol move. So right now, and if you're living in the plantation of America, you and your wife can be looking at each other and y'all, kids may not be in the future. If you're living in the plantation of America, kids may not be in the future. Your wife may never get pregnant because in the plantation of America, things are expensive. Things are going to get more expensive. You've got diapers, you've got childcare, you have school, you have dental appointments, you have doctor's appointments, you have vaccinations. This is something that the average person is going to find themselves priced out of. They're literally going to be priced out of the finer things of America. And like I said, going back to that movie where the rich people lived on this ring that was orbiting in space, I, I see something similar happening in the next 30 years in the future. Because 30 years in the future, people are gonna be wishing for housing prices the way they are now. People are gonna be wishing for gas prices. People are gonna be wishing for food prices because everything's just gonna be more, much more expensive. So you as a person, you have a choice. Am I going to align myself where I can reside and live in the corporation of America? Or am I just going to go to the plantation and make it do what it do? The choice is yours. Because if you fully understand that where we're living, what we're doing, that you can be extremely successful you can be extremely wealthy and you can have the finer things that you want in life. If you want to get married, have a wife that stays at home. If you want to get married and have children, have a wife that stays at home with your children. But if you choose to opt out of living in the corporation of the United States of America, you're going to find it stressful. You're going to find yourself in a plantation or you may have to find yourself ejected from America, going to a country with a lower standard of living and use your resources from America to kind of ball out in Bali. So the choice is yours. Are you going to become corporate? Are you going to govern yourself as a corporate citizen? Or are you just going to find yourself once again, scratching, fighting it out, in the plantation of America. Because um, the plantation of America ain't nothing nice. This is where you, you have all types of bad things happening. I remember years and years ago, well, not that many years ago, because was, I was in the Porsche, and I was over towards the, the, the plantation side of town. We'll call it the plantation side of town. And I had this guy yelling at me, hey, how much gas you going to get? I can get you this gas with this credit card. So he was going to use someone else's credit card to get gas. And I was going to pay him cash money to use his credit card to get gas. He's like, you get two gallons for the price of one. This is what goes on in the plantation of America. I like, you know, I used to work with a girl and I just couldn't understand it. But she would buy food stamps from people who worked in the hospital who was on food stamps. She would give them cash to get their food stamps. And one of the things you're going to find out, and this is going to be really, really huge. Um, I don't find myself in the plantation side of America. I just don't go over there. I have no friends. I, I have no reasons to hang out over there. So what you're going to find as we go deeper into this, as the plantation, as the corporation of America gets more pronounced, you're going to, you're going to have people who are going to have, be friends. They're, they're not going to have any friends who live in the plantation. They won't have one friends. They may know someone that works in the building who's off on the plantation. 
the sanitation, the food workers, they'll be over in the plantation. And then the higher execs are going to be living in the corporate America, the finer suburbs of corporate America. They will not have any deep and close friends. I remember in the movie that, that the show, the house of cards and how he was the friends with this guy who owned this barbecue restaurant. And as it started to go up, that friendship ended because he couldn't be friends with that guy who was in the plantation. That's what you're going to find out. So you got a choice. You can live in the corporation of America. You can live in the final suburbs, or you're going to be in the plantation. That's going to be your choice to help people who want to move to the corporate side. Once again, this is not a judgment. If you don't want to be in the corporation, you want to be in the plantation, knock yourself out for the people who want to move up to the plantation, move away from the plantation side and to move up to the corporate side, go ahead and align yourself with the corporate citizens of America, because what we're going to do, the corporate citizen playbook, I said the corporate citizens of America, because I'm really, really feeling this is we're going to teach you how to be corporate, teach you how to level up. So the link to the webinar is below and you should check that out. If you want to be on the corporate side of America, my name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.